Good morning, this is Jennifer with the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth, Dallas, and this is a weather briefing on the potential for severe weather tonight and Monday. This briefing was created on the morning of April 10th, 2016. North and Central Texas is looking at the possibility of two periods of severe storms, one this evening and another one Monday afternoon. Not everyone is under a threat for severe storms, and we will delineate the threat areas on the next few slides. There is a possibility that no severe storms will occur in our coverage area, and we will also talk about the uncertainties later in this briefing. The main threats with any severe storms during this period will be large hail and damagings. The upper level low that will bring us a chance for rain and storms tonight through Monday is currently located near Baja, California, and will be moving east into the plains on Monday. Today is expected to be a warmer, dry, and breezy day across north and central Texas. Some storms may form west of our area this afternoon, but the potential for rain in north and central Texas increases tonight into Monday. Isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected to develop west or northwest of north Texas this evening. These storms are likely to be severe due to adequate lift spreading across the region from the approaching upper level low and an unstable atmosphere in place. It is possible some of these storms could affect areas northwest of the DFW Metroplex late this evening. The main hazards with these storms would be large hail. Overnight, additional showers and isolated thunderstorms may occur across all of north and central Texas. A significant threat for severe storms does not exist overnight, but it's possible a strong storm may produce small hail. On Monday, the upper level trough will move through the southern plains and a dry line will surge eastward to the I-35 corridor by midday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected east of the dry line Monday afternoon with better chances for rain the farther east you are located. Some severe weather will be possible with damaging winds and large hail the main threats. The greatest threat for severe storms is in the red highlighted area, roughly east of the line from Sherman to Palestine. Storms along the dry line are expected to end Monday evening as the dry line continues moving east. Depending on the speed of the dry line, most of the severe storms could be east of our region. As a cold front moves in from the north Monday evening and night, a few additional showers or thunderstorms may form along the front. There are some uncertainties regarding if we will have severe storms in the north and central Texas areas this evening and Monday. For this evening, it's possible the storms may stay outside of the North Texas area in Northwest Texas and Southwest Oklahoma where the stronger lift will be with the approaching upper level low. On Monday, if the dry line moves quickly through the area, most of the storms and severe weather may be east of North and Central Texas. With the threat for severe thunderstorms in the forecast, here are a few severe thunderstorm safety tips. If you are caught outside, seek shelter in a strong building and stay inside away from windows until the storm has passed. Thank you for joining us for this severe weather briefing. For more information, please visit our webpage located there in the middle of the slide. If you have any questions or comments, you may email our webmaster account.